five teams that you guys should watch out for in Euro 2020 slash 2021, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, basically these are teams that are pretty much underdogs, dark horses and what, whatever you want to call them. These, these, it's just my opinion of five teams that you should be, you know, just look out for in this upcoming Euros because they could surprise a few people um, and they're quite underrated. So let's get right into it. Uh, this video did take a while to make, so a like will be appreciated. Make sure you subscribe to you if you're new as well. We're, you know, I think we're like 60 away now from uh, 700 subscribers, so hopefully we can get there soon. Um, let's get into the video. So sign off with the first team, and that is going to be Italy. Now, I am half Italian. Um, half my family was brought up in Italy. And I ain't saying it because I sort of have like a connection to Italy. I'm saying it because they are underrated. Um, now, I don't want to call them a dark horse because I don't think Italy are dark horse. Um, but I guess they've gone under the radar the past years because they didn't qualify for the World Cup in 2018 and everyone thought it was going to go down and down. But um, basically, guys, how how this is going to work, I'm going to obviously give you like their squad that they could possibly go for, uh, where they finish in the qualifications for the Euros and um, obviously like the Nations League and all that, just to see how they've been doing. So um, in terms of Italy, this is a squad that they could line up for. Um, for you know their group stages, so in goal, AC Milan's goalkeeper Dor Rumor, absolute. I mean, he, he's class, isn't he? Um, he's definitely one for the future. Uh, they can go with Napoli's goalkeeper Alex Moret um, as a backup for uh, Dor Rumor. They can go for in the in the defence. They go for uh, the, the two fullbacks, Spinioza. Is I think I pronounced his name right. I'm uh, probably not, but. Um, He's um, Roma, isn't he? Is he Roma? He's not Roma. I swear he plays Roma. I, I don't know. Uh, and then obviously on the PSG's um, for um, oh my god, what's his name? Ferenzi. That's it. Yeah, for <laughs> um, Ferenzi and uh, Spinazzola um, as their full backs. Two centre backs are Chiellini and Bonucci. Uh, they could have Bastoni there um, as well. Uh, in midfield, obviously Marco Verratti. Um, they could have Pellegrini. He plays Roma, don't he? Yeah, he plays Roma. Uh, Brella um, in 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 their midfield. And now this is probably their best, you know, bit about their squad is their attack. Uh, Italy. They got obviously Lorenzo Signe. What a player he is. Uh, a Mobile as well. Absolutely superb striker. They can go Moise Keane um, as but probably like a backup off off the bench. They can go for Chizzy. Um, Juventus player, Bernadeschi, um, and yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it for their for their squad that they could go for. Uh, they've obviously got Jorginho as well. He's um, from Chelsea, so yeah, I think they've got a decent side now. They've been doing superb in in uh, the past thirty games. So in Nations League, they. Um, so no, sorry, not Nations League. In the World Cup qualifications, uh, not World Cup. Jesus Christ! In the in in Euro um, f for this upcoming Euros, they finished from thirty points with Finland in their group. Um, they had obviously Mons and, and Herzog um, gone over. They had Liechtenstein, Armenia. Um, they had uh, uh, Greece as well. So yeah, um, and they finished thirty points, won every single game. Uh, Nations League as well, they've done really well. Um, so yeah, I think they're a team to look, definitely look out for. Now, they missed the World Cup in 2018 in the Russia because they never qualified. They got knocked out by Sweden. Go, going back to uh, 2016 in the Euros, they finished out, uh, I think they finished top of their group. They had Belgium in their group. They lost to Ireland, I remember that. Um, they beat, who did they beat? They beat Sweden, 1-0 won it. And they beat Belgium 2-0. Um, I think they finished top in the end. I can't remember if I'm wrong, but they beat Spain as well in the last 16. And I think in the quarterfinals they got knocked out. But yeah, um, this Euros, I think, yeah, I think that in Group A they've got Turkey, um, Wales and Switzerland. I think, that, as, as, as I said in my predictions, they're, they're going to finish top of that group because um, I just think they're very clinical squad and they've gone unbeaten for quite a while now in international uh, competitions. So... 
yeah, I think Italy is my first team that we, you, everyone should look out for. And they're not really underdog or dark horse. I think they are a very good side, but I've put them on this list because people are starting to doubt them a lot now because they, um, they didn't qualify for the World Cup. So yeah, let, let me know what you think about that. So we are sailing Group A and we're moving on to our second team and that is going to be Turkey. Um, now some of the squad there, let's, let's get right into the squad then. Um, they could go for goalkeepers, is it Kaka, uh, Gun, I can't pronounce his names, Guruk. Um, centre backs to go, they can go for Sayonchu, Leicester and Kabak, uh, Liverpool centre back. They could go Yimalaz as a full back and Mulder. So, so if, if 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 there's any Turkish people watching, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing these names wrong. Um, midfield, they can go Tufan, uh, Cengiz Unda, Chanalogu. Uh, the attack, they can go for Yemeles, that um, little striker, he's been class with them. And Yunal from Getafe. Um, so that's their squad. They've got some very underrated players in that squad for sure. They've got uh, Chanalogu, who's a master at free kicks. They've got um, Yemeles, who's been doing superb in Ligue 1. They've got Simon Chu's a class defender. Um, they've got obviously Chinga Zunda, lesser player. They've got Tufan, he's quite underrated as well. So um, In Nations League, they didn't do great. They finished bottom of their um, thing. Uh, in, the, in, in, the, in their qualifiers, they finished second um, behind France. They actually beat France as well. They beat Netherlands in this World Cup qualifiers as well. Uh, and they're right now for the World Cup qualifiers are top of the group. They've won all their games, I think. So, um, definitely a team that you, you've you got to watch out for. Now, I've got quite a lot of hate um, on my Euro predictions because I did predict them to come out, uh, to come on the group. Um, no, what? Sorry, because I've uh, predicted them to come second in Group A to then get knocked out by Denmark in the last, six, in, in the last 16, but... Yeah, either way, guys, it's just my prediction. But, you know, I think Turkey definitely a side you've got to watch out for. So, moving on to the Group B, we've got Denmark. Another one which probably surprises a few of you. Um, but, their, their squad, they can go for, obviously, Kasper Schmeichel as the main goalkeeper. Um, they can go for, obviously, in in, in defence, they've got Christensen, um, Chelsea centre-back. Vestergaard, Southampton. Uh, they can go for, obviously, Was, the Valencia full-back. They can go for, is it De Lawson? And yeah, I think they've got a decent defence. I mean, this this is their strongest, in my opinion, is their midfield. Hoiberg, Spurs. Delaney, uh, Dortmund. Eriksson, of course, in, in a Milan. Um, Roberts, is it Robert Snow? I don't know how to pronounce his name. And their attack, they've got Pulisson, Dolberg, and that Barcelona striker. Is it Brathwaite? I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, in the World Cup qualifiers right now, they've got nine points. They've won all their games. Uh, in the Euros, they finished second, sixteen points behind Switzerland. Um, they obviously in the Nations League, they beat they beat England. We drew with them as well. So yeah, very underrated sides. That I think in their group, they've got Belgium. Uh, that's good. That's gonna be tough. But I I predict them to finish second in the group. They got Russia and um, Finland. So. I think they're a team that will go deep as well. I I, I tip them to go to quarterfinals. They got to the quarterfinals in the World Cup. Got knocked out by Croatia, didn't they? Uh, no, no, hold on, no, they didn't. They got to the last sixteen and they got not because Russia got to the quarterfinals and got knocked out by Croatia. So yeah, they got to the last sixteen of the um, World Cup. They had who was in their group now? I forgot. They had, I think they had their France in their group. They had Peru. They had they, had, they actually drew doing it with France as well. They had Peru, they had uh, Australia as well. So, yeah, Denmark definitely a team that we, um, we should look out for because I think they do have, especially Cash Michael as well, he's a really good goalkeeper. So, yeah. So, moving on to the fourth team, I've gone for Croatia in England's group. Um, now, the squad, they could go for, obviously, is it. Oh, what's, his, what's his name? What was his name? Uh, what is his name? Hold on, what, what is his... Like, is it, um, Sabuga... Oh, I can't pronounce his name. Sabuzic. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but yeah. They can go for him in goal. Um, well, before I get into the squad, let's just say World Cup Final 2018. They're no mugs. Let me tell you, they knocked us out. Um, yeah, they basically knocked us out. But yeah, they can go for, obviously, 
the centre backs will go with, uh, Vidar and Lovren. They can go for um, the Atletico Madrid fullback, is it Vazlinko? I can't pronounce any of these names. Um, they've got a really good midfield Modric, Ra um, Rakitic, Kovacic. Um, the, the attack, they've got Mandzukic, per, uh, Perisic, uh, Orsic, and Verbic, Kramaric, all the itches. So, yeah, at the end of the day, Croatia, um, they finished top as well in, was it their Euros? Um, yeah, they finished top in their Euros. In Nations League, they, they ain't done great. They finished third. Uh, they had, they finished on 17 points top. As well, that's said, they got to World Cup final. They got Scotland, Czech Republic, and England. I do think we could beat them, but we are looking for revenge for them. Um, I think they will finish second, as I said in my prediction. Um, but yeah, I think Croatia are definitely a team to look out for. Moving on to my final team, this will definitely shock quite a few people for sure. I think it will. Yeah, I think it's going to shock. I've got Sweden um, in their group. They've got Spain, Poland, and Slovakia. I put them second in my predictions. Um, now, moving on to in their Euro uh, qualifier in, in, in the Euro qualifiers, they finished second, but they had Spain in their group, and Spain finished first. They still finished on twenty-one points um, in the World Cup. Uh, I think they're uh, are they on nine points? I think they've won every game so far. Um, no, sorry, they've won two. So yeah, they've won the two games that they have played in the World Cup qualifiers. Um, their squad, in goal, they can go for, obviously, uh, is it Ol Olsen, the uh, Everton backup goalkeeper. They've got, um, in their defence, they've gone for, uh, hold on, what has gone on here? Sorry, in it. Oh, what am I doing? Right, in their defence, they've gone obviously Lindelof, Man United centre back. Uh, they they can go for. Is it Svensson? Um, Jurgensen as well. Uh, the midfield, they they can go for Forsberg, uh, Leipzig player. Uh, is it the oh, the Juventus guy, Kulovetsky, uh, Larson? They got uh, Ask. Berg, um, the other last one he plays for, uh, Spartak Moscow, Zlatan, he's not, he's, he's probably not going to make it though, he's, he is injured, um, and yeah, overall, in, in the World Cup, they was in Germany's group, and the Euros, they, obviously, we knocked them out in England in the World Cup quarterfinals, uh, in the Euros, they finished, they didn't even make it out of the group, so... No, yeah, 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 they, they, they didn't make out the group. But yeah, they're my five teams that you guys should watch out for. So obviously Italy, Turkey, um, Croatia, uh, who's the one in group, uh, Denmark and Sweden. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know your five teams that you who you think are quite dark horses or underdogs. Go ahead and